Row number two on the inside will find the 4R of Derek Ramirez out of Woodward, Oklahoma. And his outside, it'll be Scott Krigler in car 12 out of Alton, out of Alton Missouri. Looking at row number three, Jason Hughes out of Watts, Oklahoma in car number 12 on the redraw with Jeremy Rasmussen out of Bella Vista, the 31J. Starting on row number four out of Las Cruces, New Mexico, the Gulf Coast Border Region champion, the 2S of Stormy Scott. And to his outside, from Grandview, Missouri, we'll find the 16 of Austin Siebert. As we mentioned earlier, row number five, Dylan Smith. Seal of Nebraska in car number 95 in the Rocket. Last night's feature winner out of Happy Texas in car number 20. Row number six on the inside out of Mayetta, Kansas, we'll find the 87 of Darren Fuqua. And to his outside from Fort Gibson, Oklahoma, it'll be the 7 H of Brett Hansen. Looking at row number seven on the inside out of Waukee, Iowa, Van Hilsebeck, the 22 B, and Johnny Scott out of Las Cruces, and car one S team will fire up 14. To row number eight, we'll find the nine-time USMTS champion out of Fertile, Iowa, the three of Kelly Triock. And to Kelly's outside, and the 22 B, it'll be Rick Beebe from Shawnee, Kansas. Moving to row number nine, starting 17th down the grid, Craig Dobson in car number four, and to his outside, Hunter Razzin out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, the R5. Starting on row number 10 in car 51, it'll be Tim Thomas from West Fargo, North Dakota, and to his outside from Shreveport, Louisiana, driving the one star, it's Adam Penn. Looking at row number 11, Justin Shoemaker will start on the inside in car number five, and to his outside out of Las Cruces, New Mexico, Jacob Gallardo in the J17. And to the 12th and final row out of Claremore, Oklahoma, we'll find the 91 of Joe Newall. And to his outside from Coleridge, Kansas, it's the 35 of Jay Perky. And taking a track provisional of Unidine at the back of the field. And he makes her. Here it comes, Perky in the 35, we're ready to go. Tim Ryan Parker joining the field with that track provisional. Parker being added to the field in the 35 car. 30 laps of distance here this evening as race fans, as we ask you please to rise at this time and give these drivers a big Salina High Bank Speedway send off. Their salute to you on a Saturday night special as they roll around off of turn number four. They can see it now. Let's make some noise, Salina. Your A main United States modified touring series feature.
into third as we are under caution for the first time here this evening. Fernando Munoz. We need you at the concession stand, please. We have got a truckload of goods for you. <laughs> Probably not. Fernando Munoz. We need you at the concession stand at this time, please. It would be of your best interest to get there immediately. Thank you. Fernando Munoz. Concession stand, please. A laps completed out of 30 in tonight's United States Modified Touring Series Central Region A feature. It's been Ryan Rowland to start out out of Woodward, Oklahoma in car 20R. Zach Vanderbeek has challenged him several times. We'll see what the Z-Man can do on the restart. I'm liking this. A Major League Bow Hunter Central Region presented by Dane Motorsports here this evening. And Brian Olin. Roland, the owner of Roland Racing Inc. Stormy Scott, his teammate in the 2S car, still very much in the mix. And supplier of chassis to Zach Vanderbeek 33Z. So do you go and dump the leader? <laughs> do you lean on him a little harder? I don't know. We're going to find out Derek Ramirez is going to definitely do. And that for our guard, Woodward, Oklahoma. And Ramirez chassis pro power in the leader, pro power in the third place. And sandwich in between, you've got an LG2 with a sputz power plant. So we'll see how this shakes out. Rodney Sanders, we said the last night's week joiner, back there in the field, but we saw him later on last night and decided to make a move, and that car scooted right to the front. Jason Hughes, as we said, numerous wins here at Salina High Banks. Maybe just by this time in car number 12, we will see. All eyes will be on the 20R of Brian Rowland. Eight laps completed, still 22 more in the night USMTSA feature. And it'll be a single file restart for the 20R of Rowland.